Alright, in this video we're going to learn how to extrapolate. So this is really important, especially in the inquiry activities. So in this problem we're given values for x and values for y, and we're supposed to predict this value when x is 80. So if you click on the Desmos graph and calculator, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Click on the plus in the upper left hand corner, and click on table, and go ahead and enter your data. When you enter your data, you can leave this last one blank that you're supposed to predict. Now, your points probably won't show up on the screen, but Desmos has this really nice feature where if you click on the zoom fit, you'll be able to see what your points look like. So if I'm looking at these, it looks like it's probably not a linear relationship. So since it doesn't appear to linear, be a linear relationship, I'm going to create a best fit line. So how I do that is I'm going to type in y equals, and I'm going to type in my first value for y, 82.7, open parentheses, then x divided by that corresponding value for x, so in my case 20. Close the parentheses, and then we're going to put in a exponent that I'm going to call p, and then click on add slider. All right, so this guarantees that our line or our curve will go through our first point, but since it wasn't a linear relationship, we need to adjust p to make it fit. In my case, I got p equals 2. So it's a quadratic. And now I can guess a value for 80. I might have to zoom out a little bit. So for 80, it looks like it is way up here. Let's guess 1,000. Now 1,000 was too low, so I'm going to keep increasing my answer. 1,100 was too low. 1,200 was too low. 1300 looks about right, but I'm going to go up a little bit higher. Positive physics would probably accept this. We set the tolerance to 5% for this one. And that looks about right. So 1325, I'll enter my answer over here. And the correct answer was actually 1328, but we were really close on this. So that is how you extrapolate.